Sherry and I had been in a relationship for a couple of years. Of course, like any couple, we always had our issues. But this, this was beyond the ordinary. So you, you've called someone, eh? I'm going to break this door. This baby is a real life story of, uh, of, of an event that happened. Um, a couple of months ago, and when this event happened, actually I wasn't even aware that at a later point in life it would turn out to be a, 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 a screen presentation. But somewhere along the way, um, it kind of um, kept on repeating over and over again in my in my head about how these events happened in the same night and how how difficult it is for people to, to really um, resolve these kind of situations in real life. So I thought, why not have this story down as a screenplay? Love Faces is, uh, is a story that tells me that love conquers all. However strong you want to think you are, I think it comes down to love. You, you will look at all the strongest people and the strongest men. The only thing that will fix it and fix anything. And that's what you will see in Love Faces, is that in the end, love just conquers all. It's experiences that most people have gone through, so you can relate with the story. It's, it's something you see on a daily basis, um, on a daily basis. It's, it's a love story. And <laughs> different. We, we react differently, so what, what is different in a story is how someone reacts to something that has been done to them or a situation that they've gone through. But you can usually relate and learn something or you know, get something out of it. Maybe something you're going through is challenging you. I am a filmmaker, which, uh, which entails me to be a screenwriter, director, and producer. But um, history goes that Life Faces is my first, uh, is my debut directory. And initially when I was writing this story, I didn't, my, didn't see myself as, um, as, as, as a director. But most of the times, my creative process as a filmmaker always goes in two steps, from, from, the, from the story to the script, and then to the to the production time. So when I was writing the script, I didn't I didn't see the I didn't see myself really as a director. It's always a blessing because some things fall out of hand when you when you're writing, and then you have to perfect them as a director. And then some things fall out of hand when you're a writer, and then when you get to direct, you feel like this thing doesn't make sense. And then on the other hand, when you're a writer director on set, when a lot of things happen, like story production-wise, the actor can't do this, the actor can't say that, the location is this way, what you what you wrote is different from what is, is real. And on set, it, it's easy for you to texture it, to weave it into another direction that will appease you when it comes to the finished video. My decision to be a part of Love Faces was, was easy. Um, I was inspired by my colleague that was already cast for the film. Patrick Nkakalukanyi, he told me uh, there's a project you need to go and audition for. It is dialogue driven. I love to talk. So I was very happy to, to, to come and be a part of it. Then I was told it was made by, uh, uh, it was by Usama Mukwaya. I didn't know Usama Mukwaya at the time. I'd heard of Balabala Sese. I had not watched it. So I was, uh, I was made to look for Balabala Sese. I went and watched Balabala Sese. I was amazed by the work that Osama Mukwaya had done four years ago already, and I wanted to be a part of it. I knew it was going to be a spectacle, and I, it was very easy. It was an easy decision for me to make. Then I got a phone call from Osama Mukwaya that I didn't know. <laughs> the guy that was on the phone had an accent. Uh, as we spoke, I said, yes, I'm ready to come for the audition. I met the guy with the accent that was blacker than me. <laughs> I thought I was talking to a white guy. We have it right now, finally. Just a bit of continuity with the makeup and all those things, but perfect. So what issues do I have now that you think is making you get a little behind schedule or yeah, feel yeah. like you're on schedule? Uh, please fix the headphones. Uh, the, the, the usual things are uh, not making it on time and have locations and having everything set up in you know, the real time, but we're good to go. Right. Silas on location. Uh, the way he handled things made me made me like 
made me like to come and work with him. And the way he spoke, he spoke in the way I want to speak to someone that I'm going to work with. It was very easy. <laughs>